Kazuha's part in the Summertime Odyssey event pretty much explained his entire backstory, minus the ride and fight and his friend, which makes sense since the story's focus was about his clan and him overcoming the struggles he had. Interestingly enough, this quest's story continues off from a previous event where Kazuha also appeared in. And yes, I'm talking about the Iridori Festival event, where a group of smart people, not including us, tried to figure out the mystery behind the 5 Kassen story which turned out to have some weird relation to Kazuha's past. So let me just summarize what happened in Iridori. Real quick. Oh, but before that, I think it's worth mentioning that Kazuha did in fact try to fill in some holes in the Summertime Odyssey event, which was a nice refresher but his explanation was kinda generalized, so let me just fill you in with everything. So after Albedo finishes painting the five dudes, Kazuha tells the crew that the five Kassen story reminds him of the Raiden Gokaden or the top five schools of forging blades in Inazuma that used to exist. Not anymore though since Karamush demolished everything except for the Amenoma art, which you can see is still forging stuff, and the Ishin art, which was eventually lost even though it still had descendants. The clan responsible for the Ishin art was, as you guessed it, the Kaedehara clan, the latest descendant being Kazuha. The trend of making swords stopped on Kazuha's great-grandfather, Yoshinori, who used to be known as Niwa. This name isn't quite important in the summertime event so I won't expound on it but it was quite important in the Eridori event. Anyway, his great-grandfather stopped forging blades when he unfortunately met Skaramush, but he was spared. After that, he just did dedicated his life growing flowers and stuff, which explains the bonsai pot that Kazuha initially spotted in the warehouse of the Tenryo Commission. In the summertime event, he mentions how there used to be a withered plant in the bonsai pot, in a hidden compartment which we can confirm that there really was one. This compartment contained an important clue for the Erdor event but not so much in the summertime event. Alright, now that you're filled in, I'll explain how it continues. The Kaidahara clan's decline started with his great-grandfather when he stopped forging blades and instead grew bonsai plants as a hobby. Kazuha's grandfather, Kaidehara Hisamichi, tried to revive the tradition but eventually failed due to not knowing the truth. The truth being that the diagram for making the blades was tampered for the sole purpose of protecting the clan from Skaramush. Hisamichi traveled around the world to look for ways to save the declining clan when suddenly Yoshinori grew ill. But it was already too late when he went back. He then started making his own bonsai, but this time it was with… um… Rocks. He started making rock gardens and collecting weird stones that were apparently for sword testing. At that point, the entire Kaidehara bloodline shifted their tradition from sword making to just doing what they want to do, which apparently was making bonsai stuff. Kazuha's father, Kaidehara Kageharu, was also into rocks. He made rock carvings based on what he saw in books about the world. Unlike his Amichi, he felt he couldn't follow his dreams because he bears the most responsibility in handling the declining clan, which he then ponders throughout his entire life if it was even worth it. Instead though, he just entrusted his dreams to Kazuha as he wishes him to not not let his clan hold him back and just do what he wants. But Kazuha back then still didn't understand much about the world and just wants to help his father lead the clan. After his father died, he went on to train his skills and traveled around the world to learn about it. He had a lot of setbacks along some family matters but he didn't let it distract him. He let go of his servants and disbanded the clan for the purpose of traveling. And this strong desire of his to explore the world granted him a vision, which he knew that this came from his strong ambition. As everyone might already know, he had a traveling companion who lost to Kujo Sara and was punished by the shogun. He took his friend's vision and ran away. The Yashiro Commission heard of this and tried to help Kazuha escape, which eventually led him to the crux where he met Beido who helped him travel around the world. During his stay in the Alcor, he asked Beido to host an annual Crux Clash tournament with his friend's vision as the reward, to find the one who can rekindle the vision. Though, in the end, it was Kazuha himself who was able to reactivate it, causing him to have a surge of both animal and electoral powers for a short time, which he used to save us from the Shogun's surprise attack. Kazuha matured a lot during his travels. He learned that being restricted by his past is not the way to go. But even though he had already disbanded his clan, seeing the bonsai pot again made him realize that he had always wanted to make a bonsai of his own. He had fulfilled this goal of being free and being able to embark on a journey while making a lot of connections. The bonds he grew along the way helped him overcome his past and accept his fate. But of course, his travels aren't ending anytime soon. But for now, that has been Kazuha's story that was explained in the event. Thanks for watching.